Why having a YouTube channel is such an incredible opportunity for women today. Stay tuned. Well, hello, my name is Erica Vieira and I am a YouTube strategist and coach having helped more than 400 women behind the scenes grow their YouTube channels. And on this channel, I'm coming in front of the camera to share with you stories of inspirational female YouTube creators where together we pull back the curtain to reveal what it really takes to be successful on YouTube. And this week I had the opportunity of interviewing fellow podcaster who is an author and a has a successful social media business, Desiree Martinez. Her and I spoke a lot about why YouTube is such an incredible opportunity for women. That conversation inspired this video, this video right now because it's something I know she's passionate about and it's something that I am incredibly passionate about. And for me, I started the YouTube Power Hour podcast. It's been over four years now. And when I started it, I saw these women that were on YouTube who have created these incredible channels and not just channels, but careers for themselves just by uploading videos onto YouTube. And I found it to be so inspiring and I found it also to be so interesting. I had so many questions for these women. I wasn't on YouTube at the time. I didn't have a YouTube channel. In the back of my mind, I always thought, wow, that looks so interesting. How do they do it? Like, that seems like such a cool career to be able to just be yourself in front of the camera and talk about whatever you wanna talk about. There's a really interesting survey, and I don't have all the details of it, but I will put it up here on the screen for you to check out, that surveyed young kids like six to 17 and found that 75% of them wanted to be on YouTube <laughs> or wanted to be YouTubers. I mean, that is insane. There's gonna be more and more and more people coming onto YouTube. People ask me like, why did you start this, this YouTube uh, podcasting? I was like, because I saw it as the future of entertainment. I saw it as the future of, of opportunity that truly if you want to get in front of people if you want, if you have a message you want to share or if you want to build some kind of business online, having a presence on YouTube is so, so powerful. And Hiram, who I had on this interview, said it so well. And he said that followers is the new currency. Um, that's the biggest currency, I believe. Followers are the new currency. And I thought that was so smart and it's so true. You're going to have a business today in 2020, then you have to have some kind of social media presence. I think going even further, I think having a YouTube presence is that much more powerful. If you can have, a, if you have a brand and you can build your own personal brand through YouTube, it's incredible. You can really establish yourself as your own brand, which will funnel customers into your business or service. Bringing it back to the topic of women, I've always loved social media and YouTube specifically because there's no barrier to entry. Anybody can be on YouTube if they have a cell phone. And even Hiram talked about it. He's got over three and a half million subscribers and he still films on his cell phone. There are multiple reasons why I still film with my phone. I mean, it's insane the opportunity that is there for YouTube. It's no wonder that so many people want to be on YouTube because they literally just have to make up the, their mind to be on YouTube. It, they don't have to move to LA or New York or a big city, driving in traffic for an hour and a half to go to audition, to get in front of a group of people, producers, directors, casting agents, and for five minutes you try and really, you know, give it your all. And if you fit the type, great, you might get a call back. And then you gotta go slog through another hour and a half of traffic to get in front of another group of casting directors. That was your only way of actually getting a platform is to hopefully get a role on some show or some soap opera, they don't even have soap operas today, or some TV show or get into commercials so you can build a platform and, and then do what you want from it. But today, you don't need to do any of that. You can just build a name for yourself on YouTube. And so for me, I saw that. I was given an opportunity to go to VidCon to interview people. I used to do red carpet reporting. And so when I went, I was just 
and this was years ago at this point. I think this at this point was like seven years ago. And I was just blown away at how crazy fanatical people were for these YouTubers. These people that literally were your girl or boy next door who decided to upload videos of themselves putting on makeup or hanging out with their friends or doing whatever and we're able to grow following from that and i'm like this is revolutionary this is phenomenal how people can literally make the decision to upload onto youtube they don't have to leave their house and they can make a career out of it i'm like this is amazing i'm like i think i think more of these people need to be interviewed i think more people would be interested in hearing them interviewed and that's how i came up with the podcast but i really focused on women because i I was like, this is a great opportunity for women. There's no, there's, there's no glass ceiling. There's no boss. There's no barrier to entry. There's no one saying yes. You get the job. You don't. It's like, basically, the the audience decides. What's so incredible is like you can find these little niche, these niches niches you can find these niche of people who love very specific things and you can talk to them about it you can be the community builder of this group of people that like very specific things or in Desiree's case you know her channel is a how-to channel it's not a huge channel it's a good size channel it's at 10,000 I think or I think 15,000 subscribers and she's able to have an incredibly successful business from that and that's the beauty she says even you know as a mother as somebody who has to uh, take care of her family and she's a breadwinner and she's been able to leverage her audience on YouTube and her socials into a successful social media career. And there are thousands of women doing that. They are on YouTube with niche niche audiences. I mean, I'm doing it. I I don't have a huge following here on YouTube. I, I've been building out my podcast for a while, so I have a very established podcast, but it's taken, it's taken years. You know, I, like I said, I've had my podcast for uh, four years, four and a half years, and I started my business just beginning of 2018, so two and a half years ago. So I was doing my podcast for a few years without having any kind of business building up the audience there and if you're able to build out an audience a niche niche audience then you can monetize that and like Hiram said followers are the new currency and in this day and age if you can build a following like so many people that I've interviewed on my podcast like Desiree's interviewed on hers there are so many women out there that are having successful careers they're able to be home with their families they're able to work from home and it's an amazing thing and I feel so passionate about it that's why I do what I do that's why I have a boot camp because I see and I work with women from all over the world Pe- people that live in big cities from you know LA to Dubai to Miami to people that live in the middle of nowhere that can make that decision I'm gonna have a YouTube channel, I'm gonna take it seriously, and boom, they start uploading content, and you know, the rest for them is history. And that's what I love about YouTube. There's no barrier to entry, there's nobody telling you that you can't do it. The only if you the only person holding you back from being on YouTube is yourself. Really, it's your own, and I deal with this all the time working with so many people, your own insecurities, your own fears. And that is truly the biggest thing holding back people from success on YouTube. But if you're able to get out of your own way, the opportunities are endless. You don't even have to build a huge following. Like Desiree said, you can build a very niche following and have a very successful career from it. You can do anything that you want. I've interviewed people on this podcast, like I always think about Sweet Ams from Sweet Ams Cookies, and she decorates cookies on her channel. You can do fitness things. You know, I've interviewed Rebecca Luis and Cassandra, who has a, has a, a yoga channel. There are so many different things that you can do on YouTube, and it's like you just have to put your mind to it. You just have to think, all right, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna prioritize it, and I'm gonna go for it. So let me know if there's anything that's stopping you from starting on YouTube, if hopefully by listening you know, to my podcast, if that inspires you to get onto YouTube, and if you're on YouTube, you know what inspired you to get onto this platform in the first place? So if you like this video, 
hit the like button. It helps the algorithm and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the incredible interviews that I have coming your way. Mwah.